no signal. This is what I've been dealing with since uh, we've gotten pretty cold here in Kansas. We're talking down low tens, maybe even a little lower than 10 degrees during the night. And it's actually, it's this camera right here. It's in my garage. This is not an outdoor camera, but I've had it in the garage for a long time. I figured, you know, it's in the garage. It's not technically gonna get rained on. Uh, the only thing here in the garage is that it either does get super hot or super cold. And it's been out here for about a year. Honestly, it's lasted longer than I thought it would just because of the whole condensation thing. Like, I kind of expected it to die a lot uh, longer ago, but it's still not dead. It's just right now I'm having Wi-Fi signal issues. So I think that the Wi-Fi chip in that camera is actually starting to go out. Now, if I were to actually unplug it from the wall and restart it, it would connect again and everything would work fine. It has good signal strength all the way up here. Uh, everything works good for a little bit until it gets super cold. I mean, it just was not built to be out here in the fluctuating cold. Whether you're protecting yourself on public Wi-Fi, bypassing regional filters, or just simply wanting to download something without the worries of a government or a corporation not liking you for it, a VPN service is a must-have solution. And depending on where you're located, it could be hard to find a VPN fast enough for daily use. That's why the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee of NordVPN is so valuable. Because even though I can tell you I get great speeds and reliability, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. By visiting nordvpn.com slash byte or clicking the link in the video description below, you can test these speeds out for yourself with a heavy discount. And with 30 days to prove it's worth, it's a safe way to ensure you're getting what you paid for. Now I could either A, replace this with a, you know, outdoor camera, something that is actually built to handle the cold, or B, I could just try something else. And that is where power over ethernet comes in, because like I said, this is plugged into the wall, but I technically have another line that I've already worn, uh, ran into the attic that I haven't used yet. I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for, but I think today's a good day to tackle this problem. Okay. I was sent these actually by a subscriber of mine, a Patreon subscriber of mine. Thank you again. Uh, I put these on a box and, or actually I put them on a shelf and I was like, I'm going to use them. I just don't know when. So today is the day where I'm going to use one of them. Now what these are is that these are a power over ethernet adapter. Uh, so this plugs into a standard ethernet cable that's going to go into my power over ethernet switch that I have. It's a Cisco switch that has multiple ports offering power over ethernet to each one. And what this does is it actually takes the voltage from the power over ethernet and outputs it into its own separate little hookup. So, and actually I think this might be the exact hookup that I need, I think. Now that I think about it, I probably should test this. That, that, that'd, that'd be good. Before I go, you know, drilling and other stuff. This will allow me to basically just use a regular camera that's not power over ethernet and convert it to a power over ethernet. Not have to worry about plugging it into a wall. And because it's gonna be running off of my Cisco switch that's plugged into my UPS, it will also have some battery backup as well. So um, I guess there's that. Either way, I'm super curious to see if this will work. So I'm going to go and get that camera. I'm just gonna rip it off the wall. I, I can put it back. Okay, so I have an ethernet cable that is hooked up to the power over ethernet switch. Uh, I have my camera that is not power over ethernet and I have my adapter with what looks like a standard like DC plug-in. So I guess before I really try this, okay. It doesn't, you know, it, it's a little bit too long for it, but it seems to snap in pretty well. You know, can't go, uh, all the way. I guess there is such thing as too big. So if I can plug this in, power it with the power over ethernet and also connect it to the ethernet, I will essentially bypass the whole Wi-Fi issues that I'm having right now. So let's see if this will work. Looks like the lights came on and yeah, it's lighting up on the back. Guess we'll just see if this is going to come alive. Okay, since the Wi-Fi seemed to be completely kaput, I had to go into the computer and readjust the settings um, for the IP address. So since it is connected with Ethernet versus the regular Wi-Fi connection, it has a different MAC address, and the static routing that I had set up in my PFSense router was different. So I had to change the MAC address, so now it's back to the original IP.
But what that tells me is that everything is working, everything looks good, and as far as I could tell, this thing should function just fine with a power over ethernet connection, and now I can bypass the whole Wi-Fi connectivity issues I was having. So that's cool. The only thing that I have to worry about now is <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't planning on doing this video, so I did not get a, a ladder. Um, my whole, you know, expandable ladder thing that I was borrowing from my cousin did not get that. So I'm gonna have to break out old blue and do this the old fashioned way. Now, since I already have my cable ran in the attic, I got the uh, extension cable that I need to go from the jack that I installed to the camera. Then I have good old fashioned flashlight and of course a drill because I will have to drill stuff. Drill. Old blue. So I'm gonna use this as a stepping stone to get up to the attic. Should probably go without saying that uh, this is not the recommended thing to do. Ideally, you'd want to get a ladder that fits the job. But I don't have one. I gotta deal with what I got. Besides, this works. I mean, you can't argue with what works. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up the ladder we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I'm in the attic. And the camera, let's see if I can get some light on the subject. There you go. The camera's gonna drill through right over there, but I have to go over there to run the cable. I'm also really kind of hoping that the jack that I made, like the keystone jack that I hooked up, really just kind of banking that this thing is going to work because I never actually tested it. Hooked it up, but I didn't need it right away. So, I don't know if it works. It's kind of a rat's nest, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know it's in here. Oh, there it is. It's right down there. It's got a big old cable. I wonder if I can just like throw this down. I don't know. Let's see. Three. Nope. Did not work as well as I thought it would. Kind of went decent though. That is a mess. Maybe not the best way to run cable. But hey, I look at it like this. If somebody out there doesn't cringe on my videos, then what's the point of making them? Okay, threw it all the way over there. I don't know if you can see it. Now I'm gonna go around the side here and uh, go get it. This should be an easy run. Got to go from where it is now, and I should have plenty of space or plenty of cable left. Got to pull it over here. And it looks like I'm clear to drill wherever, so. I'm gonna have to go down there and drill from the bottom, just so I know where to stick it. Okay, here's the big question, because I know where that wire is. This is pretty far deep, so do I like, do I drill it through the drywall or do I drill it through the wood? I mean, technically, 
If I have to undo this, drywall would probably be easier to patch than the wood. So I would use the same hole as the power wire, but uh, one, I, I don't know if I really want the interference because this cable is really not that great. And two, that uh, on the top of it, it was actually pretty like not loose. So I'd have to make the hole bigger. So that's not gonna be an option for me. So I'm just gonna drill into the drywall. And I found a screw. Nice. <laughs> yep, found the one screw. Perfect. And I got crap all over me. Whoa. All right. Dick. Gotta find the hole. There it is. Easy as pie. That was simple. Yeah. You know, really, I should have did this a long time ago, but I didn't, you know, I really, I don't know. It, it's one of those things when you hook something up and then it works, you just, you don't want to really mess with it anymore. Like, you know, it's probably a terrible mentality, but either way, I'm really kind of hoping for the best here. Ha ha ha, I got lights. I have lights. It is on, like Donkey Kong. I can make that look better and later on. You could also probably put it higher. Oh well. I don't know if you can see that or not on camera, but uh, looks like it's connected. Good to go. Everything is awesome. It doesn't look, you know, terribly pretty, but. Uh, I could probably get in here and, you know, run this up the wall a little bit or just leave it exactly like that and just call it a day. It may not be perfect, but it works. I'm actually super hungry, so I think before I work on editing this video, I'm gonna go get Taco Bell. Because diarrhea is amazing. It's amazing. And that's it. A simple device that works as expected, as intended. And now I have a camera that was once limited to being powered by a USB, you know, five volt connection running over power over ethernet. That's pretty cool. Now these are from, uh, looks like Wi-Fi Texas.com. I don't know. I will see if I can find these exact ones on Amazon. Um, these are five volt, 10 watts. So I don't know, you know, if you can run anything too big off of them, but uh, it seems to power this camera perfectly. So mission accomplished. I do want to give a shout out to the guy who I think he still doesn't want to be named for sending these to me. Uh, I didn't know what exactly I would use them for when I got them, but now, I definitely found a good use for at least one of them. But hey, thank you to everyone else who followed along this little random side project for the weekend, and hopefully you at least somewhat enjoyed it. Like and subscribe below, and have yourself a good day.